Hello everybody and welcome back to a new video about the GeForce RTX 2060 12GB um, So I was hovering over some uh, different electronic sites the other day uh, And I actually didn't know about that this card even existed um, So what I found out was um, that they were selling this one for 550 euro um, And what's uh, quite weird about this one is that it's been really quiet about the launch um, I haven't heard anything uh, I mean, sure, I'm not in the right uh, communities probably, um, but I haven't heard anything and suddenly I found this one and they, I bought this one and after that it was out of stock. So I'm guessing I got really lucky. Um, it cost me 550 euro uh, and we're gonna, in this video, test out some um, algorithm on it, see what it hashes. But to begin with, I wanna do a little unboxing. So this is my first reaction, I haven't seen anything of it. I just pulled this out of the cardboard box. Um, so yeah, let's see. I'm not sure how I'm going to manage with um, one hand here. Um, I, I wanted a uniform background, that's why you can see a plastic bag here. I'm sorry about my look a bit ghetto. Um, let's just turn it around to begin with, as you can see here. 12 GB GDDR6. Just turn the box around and see what they have here. And Torx fan, cooling, blah blah blah, not so exciting. Uh, let's see if we can open this up here. Okay, so uh, it's a bit weird. Oh, I'm already tearing the box. Okay, so there we go. I got it out. Um, let's see what we got in here. Oh, okay. Brochures or whatever. And oh, wow, it's already there. It's quite small. So let's pull it out. back side of it um, it looks quite cool quite fresh um, it's the Ventus version so I think it actually looks like <laughs> it looks a bit retro uh, with this color scheme um, but yeah it has a pretty beefy cooler um, we'll see how it acts in the rig um, I'll connect it and see you on the PC I think we're gonna begin with here with uh, dagger hash amino so f hash basically uh, ethereum algorithm uh, on t-rex and then I think we'll move on to Kapow and then Octopus. Also, by the way, uh, I have the display on GPU 1, so that won't affect this at all. Um, the 12 gigabyte is on a riser. Okay, so while that is running in the background, we are going to check some information here. Um, so I checked this, the device manager. I can't see it here. Um, but, you know, just to prove that it's that GPU, I did pull up some information here. So we have here... Um, where is it? Here it is, 12 gigabyte GDDR6 SD RAM, 192 bit. Um, you can see some info here, um, the, the current clocks. Uh, that's about it in this program. Uh, also, you can see some stuff here. Um, it's 12 gigabyte Micron. Um, we do always hope for Samsung because I think that's the best type of uh, VRAM, but I think it's because of, um, I don't think Samsung makes bigger sizes and for the 2060, not from what I could read up on. Um, I didn't really find that many um, people trying out this card on the internet, and that's basically what uh, made me want to make this video. Um, but I did find like uh, one guy from Thailand, I think. Uh, I didn't really understand that much out of that video, but then there was a little bit of a better, better video with a guy from Indonesia. And I think he was able to reach 37.6 mega hashes on F hash, but he didn't try Octopus or Kapow. So I think I'll try all three algorithms on nice hash and yeah, let's see how it goes. Um, and then also uh, we have here, um, GPU said that all the information. 29.61 is the highest we could reach here. Uh, 29.61 mh. It's all default, um, so we're gonna try all the algorithm on this, and then we will try to get into overclocking and see what we can reach. Okay, so I've been waiting for a while. Um, at Kapow, it's uh, like the highest is 18.78, uh, so we're gonna put that down. 18.78 mega ashes. Um, okay, so let's move on to Octopus. Okay, so I've been sitting here for a while and it's uh, on, on the Octopus algorithm, it's uh, quite steady at 34.78. This is the best I could do. We have 37.16 MHz at peak, 
37.15 right now. Uh, the core clock we have here is minus 50 and then we have memory clock plus 1500. Um, so yeah, it's max. If I could go any higher, I would probably try to. <laughs> um, I think what's holding us back here uh, when it comes to efficiency is that I can't go under on power limit for some reason. Um, so yeah, I don't really know what to do about that. Um, I think this is the best I can do, probably. Okay, so this is uh, the best I could do with Kapow, um, so Ravencoin. Um, I did peak at 21.5 megahashes, but right now it is at 21.4 megahashes. 21.4 or 21.40 and then uh, plus 100 in core clock and plus 950 memory clock and this is the sweet spot and um, let's move on to octopus okay so at octopus i'm getting 42.08 mega hashes um with full power limit so 100 temple 65 core clock 100 plus and memory clock 1500 plus um, that's pretty good, pretty good. Um, my side note here is that if I do lower um, the power, I'm getting less mega hashes but much better efficiency. So depends uh, what you want to um, get the most. More mega hashes or more efficiency? You have to decide. Oh, actually I'm getting 42.3 here now when I took a while. So I think that's going to be the end score. 42.29, 42.3 is like where it ends up at um, after working those overclocks for a while. Okay, nice. To sum it up guys, that's all of the hash rates there. Is it better than uh, 2066 gig um, when it comes to mining? Yes, it is. Um, is it a lot, a lot better? Depends what you define as a lot. Um, I think it's worth to get one if you do get them at about the same prices. Um, I did read some uh, some stuff about how it wouldn't be any better on mining. For example, here it won't hash mo more. It's limited by its 192 bit bus and uh, something along those li lines. I heard a YouTuber son of a tech say, um, "Well, here we have it. Um, I've just shown you all of the hash rates uh, right now." And yes, it is kind of a, sh uh, a bullet in the leg that it has much higher TDP. Um, well, I mean. To be fair, it get it comp compensates with the hash rate. This is all of the hash rates that I could get, um, and also, of course, for example, this guy I saw in Indonesia, he got better hash rates. Might be because I have an overclocked edition. I have the Ventus OC, as I've said, and as you saw in the beginning, um, might be because of that. I heard also Sotac released at 12 gig, um, so yeah, this might be the reason, and that I have even higher TDP. Um, I think it's it, it was a nice buy, um, 550 euro, it's already out of stock, <laughs> I must have been really lucky. Um, I mean since most of you guys aren't able to get 3060s or any of the 30 series and I am neither, um, I think only Americans or people camping the releases or willing to overpay um, do get them. Um, this one I got it in the store, I got it delivered in two days and here I am with it. I'm pretty happy with the purchase. Um, I would consider it pretty new. Uh, there is so for some reason there is so little information about the GPU. Um, I looked back and I could only see articles um, talking about the leaks. And then suddenly in um, December, early December, it seems like they released it. Um, I couldn't find anything on Nvidia's site. Sure, I might have been bad at researching, so don't quote me on anything that I'm saying in this video. I'm not a professional. I am just doing this right now. I'm coming up with everything as I go. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this type of a different video. And yeah, guys, have a really great day and have fun mining out there. Have fun gaming out there and see you in the next video. Bye bye.